Hello everyone, this is How Do We Do This Tutorials, this is Dan speaking and today we're going to be creating a timesheet so it can be used if you're doing um, overtime for a certain place or if you're doing just freelance work, uh, anything like that. So I'm going to be uploading this template over onto this video so if you look at the description you can download it there and then um, or if you don't want to download it and uh, make one yourself and uh, create one from scratch I'm going to show you how to today. So here we can see, just a basic timesheet, this is what I generally use, obviously I've removed all of the, the general information that you'll find uh, on a timesheet, obviously due to the Data Protection Act, I don't want you to be to find out that information, but ultimately I've got the exact date that would have done done the, the type of content and the work, the overall task, and then the bit more description of uh, what I did, the time taken to do it, and then probably the most importantly, the hourly rate that I would charge someone the time that I've actually taken to do it overall and uh, the amount uh, overall that's due to the company and as you can see I've gone here again removed all the information and uh, just gone through each month and everything's totted up and obviously we've got the total it's entirely up to you if you want to colour code it I've chosen green it's the income red uh, for getting the money in so it's obviously red it takes off the overall amount and then the overall amount that is due uh, to hopefully go into my pocket sometime soon. So we'll quickly make a start again. You can uh, create one however you want, but the main thing that we need to look at is the formulas for your hourly rate and uh, getting a couple of times tables in there uh, to make sure everything times correctly and that you get the correct amount at the end because um, obviously you don't want to charge anyone over the odds of what you've actually charged, uh, over the odds of what you've actually done. Sorry. So what we'll do is uh, we'll quickly make a start and uh, well, we'll, uh, we'll create a new timesheet overall. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly copy and paste this bit but then we'll show you how to do the actual formula overall. So we'll start off that with October and again once you've done uh, the overall month you can quite easily just copy and paste it over again and um, it'll be quite easy to do so. So let's quickly move everything around. Okay, so let's quickly get rid of the date on here. So overall, you need to keep pretty much everything the same. Just copy and paste it over. Just so obviously everything keeps consistent. And again, it looks quite professional when you're doing it uh, consistently throughout each month. So as I said here, you can do the 1st, 10th, 2016. The information. Created a YouTube video. And further information, again if you double tap on that it opens it to the size of the cell. Timesheet video. That's taken me around about 25 minutes to complete. So again, this is the, the main thing that you need to be looking at overall to uh, to get everything that you need. So the hourly rate, again, we don't sort of need that in regards to the formula, it's just there, just so people are aware of it. Um, you can't add it to the formula, it's entirely up to you, but I just haven't. Um, just, just so it keeps it simpler, really. So just set it up like this, hourly rate, um, time total, so hours slash minutes, and then the amount to account. Again, you can modify this to however you want. I just find that having the date, the task, more information, and then the time taken to do it, as well as this information to the right, is the best way uh, to overall do it. So all you need, hourly rate, again, just type that in. I've typed in the number 10 um, just so it's in there. So this is the, the main main bit of information that you need. So the time total, hours and minutes. So that's sum D. So all I've done is basically highlighted it all the way down here and then just literally clicked the auto sum and then just moved it over to here. So again, that's just added that one up clearly. So then we've got the whole overall amount there. So Oh, so you can see there that it's got all the information there. So if I add, oh, let me get rid of that. So if we add another ten pound, another t twenty hours, um, so one thing you do need to remember is that when you do, when you are updating it, it is in in a sense sort of a twenty-four hour clock type thing. So zero one, zero zero, zero zero, that'd be one hour. Zero 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 one one minute and vice versa. So that's covered that one and the main formula that you need to do is the amount to account. 
so all you need to do is well click on here so you can see everything that we've added up so overall we need to include the total time within all the tasks that you've completed so all you need to do is press equals then the cell that it's in there then you need the little star sign which is the time so you need to times by 24 hours so think of it as a 24 hour clock in a way um, so times it by 24 because obviously there's 24 hours in a day that sort of correlates with the, the minutes and hours that you've been working in and then you need to do the times that 10 that is the hourly rate so you could change that so the hourly rate could be 20 and that amount would would double overall um, again you can I'm going to change it back just so it's uh, kept to what I want but um, again all you need to do is equals so we can just create the formula again so equals click on that tab then the start Twenty-four, and then the hourly rate, which will say ten. So again, that does look slightly different to what we've got here. Okay, and there we've got the formula that we need for the overall amount. So then, all we need to do is move on to the total. So we'll add a new new cell in here. So we'll quickly insert the amount, and just quickly drag that down the corner that goes into the month then the amount which is literally type in equals go into October then click on the amount and then just click enter now I'll transfer the money in there and as you can see it makes the overall total increase on YouTube I'm going to upload this table uh, as I said this formula and everything that you need within uh, the description so if you look down there below that would be fantastic and you've got that downloaded if not and you want to create your own specif specific and uh, bespoke uh, spreadsheet then obviously you can quickly use this video as a tutorial on how to do it and again uh, if there are any questions put them down in the, in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can but yeah thank you very much YouTube if, again if you can subscribe if you do have any comments let us know but uh, yeah thank you very much YouTube and uh, we'll see you next time